Mild bit of relief this morning. The following breaking news. Family members anxiously awaiting answers right now, hoping to learn that their loved ones are safe after a mass shooting in Indianapolis. At least nine people are dead, including the gunman. And several others were hurt at a FedEx facility on Mirabel Road. That death toll, as we mentioned, includes the gunman. We haven't heard nothing. We called the hospitals. They said they couldn't tell us anything. And we just waiting. This morning, CBS4 has team coverage. Terry Johnson's at the Holiday Inn Express, where families are gathered right now. But first, though, we want to get out to Alexa Green, who is live at the FedEx building there. Yeah, she spoke with officials earlier this morning. Alexa, what do we know so far? Angela, Nick, good morning to you. As you mentioned, nine people are dead this morning. That total does include the accused gunman. Several others we know are injured after a mass shooting here at this FedEx facility on Indy's southwest side. I want to step out of the way and show you the scene because things are still active here at this time. You can see right now, IMPD detectives, they are still here. Many of them, they appear to be inside the building. We also, from, when, from where we are standing, Standing, can see crime scene tapes surrounding the parking lot. Still so many questions this morning about why this gunman opened fire here and also how many other people were hurt during this mass shooting. Let's go over what we do know at this time. It was shortly after 11 police were called out to this FedEx ground operations center on Indy's southwest side for a shooting. They say when they arrived, they found an active shooter situation. Police say the shooter then turned the gun on himself. After a preliminary search, police say they located eight people at the scene dead from gunshot wounds. At least eight other people we know of were transported to nearby hospitals. Others were told drove themselves. We're told there have been multiple other hospital walk ins. So right now, police, they're trying to figure out how many total people were injured during this. Metro police tell us no officers were injured during this, but they say this is never a scene they want to encounter. And you know, in the Indianapolis Metro Police Department, the officers responded, they came in, they went in and they did their job. And a lot of them are trying to face this because this is a site that no one should ever have to see. Police are asking this morning if you were at this FedEx facility during this mass shooting or if you were injured to call IMPD. This morning, still a lot of unknowns. We're trying to find out more about this gunman. It's unclear at this point if he worked at this FedEx facility, what his connection to the facility is, what kind of gun he used, or what his motive was. Also, for family members or loved ones who are just waking up to this heartbreaking news, if you've not been in touch with your family member or your loved one, police are asking you to go to the Holiday Inn Express off of Stansted Road. That's for family reunification. We also have a crew there at this time. We're going to have a live report for them coming up in just a little bit. Angie Nick, we'll send it back to you.